Hooray! Hi guys, Sagola Lamatamza, also known as Gelawa Pazer, girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you'll be notified that Gelawa Pazer a possible car video. Thank you, thank you so much for more than 71,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful that you guys keep on coming to my YouTube channel, Na Totela Sana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to talk briefly about my uh, title uh, because I find it a bit strange that is happening in this day and age. And I'll just read a post from my Facebook page, uh, which I posted not long ago. Hi, Mariama, good to see you. And I just want to read for you my post because I came across a post, an article from Webantu News Media, where they had stated that... Uh, uh, Boman Lusambo, who is a Lusaka minister, has just, um, you know, received some great news by ha having some twins with his wife. His wife has just given birth to twins, and he has named those twins after um, the president, obviously, because the twins are called Edgar and Esther. Now, I am a bit skeptical about that. Um, I wouldn't just uh, name my children after anybody just like that. Uh, so I'm going to read to you my post on my Facebook page. So if you've never been a follower of my Facebook page, check out my Facebook page as well. My normal, like, you know, ordinary account, Lila Mutams. So my post reads, don't name your children after people. Names have a spiritual impact. If someone you name your child after is a failure, your child will be a failure. Your, uh, your child will be a failure too. Uh... The mockery that follows them will follow your child. Don't just give names to show that you love people. You name your children after. So that's my post on my Facebook. So basically I'm just saying don't name your children after people because uh, you love them and you want to show loyalty that you love them. <clears throat> when I saw that post, I... Um, I was a bit very, very um, skeptical about it because I know that names carry a spiritual meaning. And no matter how much you love somebody, you know, with all your heart, with all your love, um, you can't just name them after them based on the love that you have without understanding the spiritual aspect of names. Names carry grace. Names carry power. Names carry everything. So, if uh, the, the person you've named after your child is foolish, your child will be foolish. If the person you name your child after is a drunkard, your child will be a drunkard. I've seen this happening where, you know, somebody in our family was named after our grandfather who used to like a lot of alcohol, drinking a lot, and that person is a drunk. You know, you don't just name people after them because you feel they are in power, they are in position of power, so we can name them after them. Okay, um, so my post continues by saying, uh, don't just give the names, you know, to show love um, to the people you, you name your children after. You are just punishing those children by adding a spiritual covenant uh, that goes with the names those days of naming after someone are gone because uh, we are Africans you know as as Africans and now Christians we understand the aspect of naming after uh, this one and that one and as we became Christians we, we understood that names carry grace. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because today is a Sunday and Sunday is a spiritual day. So I thought, let me just ponder on this just a little bit more and just giving you ideas of my thoughts about this. And so I added on my post that, you see, you're just punishing the children uh, with a spiritual covenant because you don't know who named that person. You know, that person may be called Edgar Lungo, and you don't know who named Edgar Lungo. You don't know the spiritual implications of naming someone Edgar Lungo. You don't know. Even if it's Leland Motambo, you don't know the spiritual aspect. I don't mind if you have a school building or a hospital building, and then you name it Edgar Chagualungo. It's okay, because that just symbolizes that you are respecting this person in office. But naming 
um, a child, a child who is born, you are pronouncing the destiny of that child using the name of that person. So that's why I was really skeptical about this. And then I further added on my Facebook post that uh, we need to understand the meanings of names and you know, we need to understand them better and the grace that each name carries. And then I added that, you know, there's never a day that Bowman Lusambo doesn't surprise me. Like, he just wakes up and just does things however he wants to do them. And, and, and like uh, Stuart is saying, you're basically dragging your innocent children into something they never, um, you know, wanted to be part of. Because you love the president. Yes, we know. Nobody can stop you, Bowman Lusambo, from loving the president. But your love should remain from yourself. And not carrying it forward with your children and naming your children after this person. Uh, you know, there are certain decisions we've made for our children as parents, which sometimes our children would blame us. I'll give you an example of me piercing my children's ears. And my daughter, Eileen, she's been asking me, uh, why, why did you pierce my ears? Did I ask you? You know, because I don't like earrings. But well, we made that decision because it's my child. I am the one who's given birth to this child uh, and I want this child to look girly by piercing the ears and this child grows to the age of 10 and says, I don't want earrings. Why did you force me to pierce my ears? So we, 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 we make decisions as parents for our children without understanding the implications of the spiritual aspect of names, spiritual aspect of what we do. Names are powerful. You know, uh, they say, uh, when we're growing up, we used to um, hear parents say, Uda chipu wafi. you know, uh, that one is, is, a, is a big fool. Uh, and before you know it, that child will forever be a fool. That person is down. Before you know it, that child or that person will forever be down. The spiritual implications of an utterance of the word is very powerful. And therefore, we should never take lightly things such as names. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate the president of Zambia or his wife. But naming after them is not something I would advise anybody. You can love them from a distance, but don't make that spiritual covenant with their names by associating yourself with the names of um edgar chagualungu and his wife esther you are simply saying i agree to your destiny to everything you have gone through may my child go through the same so it's it's, it's very dangerous actually to do that okay so i added like you know if it's true that he has named his children after the president and his wife, then I have no uh, words for him except don't selfishly name those twins because you want to prove your love for the first family. I know he loves the first family so well. I know he loves the president so well. But like Phil Jonas is saying, a name is a spiritual identity. You know, which you are basically attaching to that child. And the twins will now bear the names of Esther and Edgar based on your love, but the spiritual aspect of it stays as it is. So I don't agree to these names. Congratulations, uh, Boman or somebody, your wife, for your children, but you should. Think about the names. You're not in a hurry. The West Africans like the Nigerians and the Ghanaians and Sierra Leoneans, they take seven days before they name a child. Uh, your children are just born today, so your excitement is just there. Think about it. Wait a little bit. Pray about these names. Uh, I just shared on my Facebook page, and uh, people, one or two people commented that, oh, uh, what if... They are just naming the names from the Bible because these are English names. But in this aspect, this person has named these names because we all know 
Boman Musambo loves the president like crazy. So we know he means the president himself and his wife. And I don't condone to such. Um, so I said, you can love them, but don't overstretch your love with the things that can block your children spiritually. Because what you're doing is, you know, already, there's so much tension going on in Zambia. People are bitter. People are angry. Uh, Boman Osambo has called the youth of Zambia disgruntled youths. And he feels he is so close to the president. Yes, it's good for him. And then he names the children. So it's like, even though people would want to love these um, children, they will still express some kind of hatred because what is all this? They would express some kind of hatred because what, what is all this? The same people that did this to us, you da, you've done this, you've named your, your children after these people. Because believe you me, um, not everybody will like um, certain people. So you can't force them to love them. And it just... Uh, spoils the chances of your children to go further in life. I would rather the children's names are even kept private, whereby you just say, okay, their names are Lisa and Mutale Lusambo, and nobody even knows their names, but we just know, oh, Mr. Lusambo has children. But the moment people come across Esther Lusambo and Edgar Lusambo, they know, ah, oh, you block chances. You block chances. Yes, um, I said it before, Sarah, that... Um, um, from according to my reliable sources, uh, Boman Musambo and his um, Boman Musambo is related to I think is it I was told uh, Tasila Lungu's mother is Boman Musambo's sister, so their relation is there. But even if they are related, don't name your children after that, after anybody. Okay, so you block your chances, and then I was like, names carry grace. And a curse, if you want blessings, be neutral. Please don't make this silly mistake. There is life in names. There is life in names. Names carry grace and power. Um, in as much as people say it's their choice. Yes, it is their choice. But remember, they will not live till they are over a thousand years. Those children will be left on this earth and they have to answer to that name they have to um, be treated in a certain way because of certain names uh, names carry grace okay chilufia says he was close to repair banda as well let's not forget he's a very good jumping ship he just likes um his brother he's just like his brother kings they are bootlickers to every government in power yeah so it's like he wants to be loved by the president um barbara says Names really have a spiritual connection. These kids have their destiny changed by their father. It's sad to know that some people are still ignorant of such things. Uh, Victoria Chembe says, love covers multitudes of sin. And his excellent pre um, president Edgar Lungo and his first lady bless people. That's the truth. Yeah, they can be loved. But like what I'm saying is whatever we don't know their spiritual um, aspect or as to why certain things happen. Um, let me give you an example. Uh, President Ed Galungu used to have a law firm and he failed to run the law firm. It shut down. Uh, he had a marriage. He was married. The marriage did not work. And he's now a president of Zambia and he has failed to run the country. You know, and when people speak about him, we can be positive here to say, oh, yeah, maybe he needs to change. But there's people who are lashing out curses. Uh, those words are powerful. Words are powerful. Don't even joke about words. Words are very powerful. And therefore, it is very important that um, you use names that will not block your children from seeing uh, a certain level of grace in their lives. You can love these people, like I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. Love them. Show them love. But make sure each time you think about naming after anybody, pray about it. 
the Ghanaians do what you call a naming ceremony where they because my children the girls are half Ghanaian where they give the child salt and they tell this child uh, they, they give the child salt the child is a baby and they'll say look um, this salt as you are licking it now when people call you Esther you will answer Esther when people say salt you will say salt when people say sugar, they give, then they give the child sugar. When people say sugar, you should also say sugar. When you are told this is cooking oil, they, they demonstrate like that. Why do they use those kind of levels of demonstration? Because names carry grace. Names carry power. You can't name your child after somebody... And the person, uh, to you, the person is sugar. But to the world, the person is chili. So your child's outward name would be sugar. But the spiritual aspect of your child would be chili. So anything that chili, you know, comes with bitterness, you have to drink water and everything will follow your child. So we don't want that. Okay, so Barbara said, failure has followed our president. That's what some people don't understand. I have personally told my children not to name them after my name unless they gave it to them as a name, not after me. Exactly. So in this aspect, we can tell that Boma Nusambo has decided to name these children after uh, the president. Alfred Chikwaba says he is going to stand at the convention as vice president of our ruling party PF. So he needs uh, desperately support from our excellence. Oh, so he's going to be the vice president. Really? What happened to Madam Inonge Uina? Okay. So we are basically talking about the name. So let me just greet people who've been here. Mariama, good to see you. Vixen, Trashford, amazing. Uh, Walter... 764 says naming your child after i think the worst zambian president uh in history i feel sorry for that child mimi says hi hi how are you and Macau says hi lois trauma tv how are you uh christian musenga says how are you barbara says how are you um uh kapalamoto nixon says boman what to chawa meaning you know he likes that type of favoritism where people should love him Lukundo Nambela says, hi, Auntie Lily, good to see you. Thank you so much. Samson, how are you? Uh, and Eddie, good to see you. Mwansa uh, Kalumba says, that is very true about names. Um, Mumbin, it is Mumbin says, hi, Lily, how are you? Uh, Chisanga Njovu says, foolishness of the highest order. I don't understand. Boston says, how are you? Uh, Kingsley uh, says, Gelwa Pazera post sapoka video i hope you've watched my latest video about um the guy from malawi who uh has moved on with his life please watch that video it's very important because tomorrow we'll have a live discussion over that uh strictly with my subscribers yeah because it's it's nice when we have discussions like this it's quicker it's faster i tack on with what i need to say and we finish boom um uh, Molenga wants my email address is lilimotamstv at gmail.com get it says I look good thank you so much Wamunima says sure and it says yes very true Lily names have a spiritual meaning um, Stuart uh, says imagine dragging even your innocent children into something they may never come to yeah yeah okay yeah so I already read those parts yeah so hi Jovio Jackson good to see you um, Joseph says he named his kids after the current president and his wife very meaningful for now and sooner or later it will be the former yes for now it is meaningful uh, but you know to me i i don't support the idea um uh chrissy says good to see you good to see you sis my linda says thank god i have a beautiful name it's very unique as well my linda name very unique victoria chamber says we all have failed ones yes um uh but that does not mean our names have cases or mistakes we make let's look at the good that they have done you see um 
that is why I said we don't know the spiritual covenants that certain people have. You don't know where people have been. So you can't just name after somebody uh, and say, my child will be named this and that. It's absolutely wrong. I don't support the idea. Honestly, I attest is naming a child after the leader of a corrupt cartel is a direct condemnation. The children are a curse in their ignorance. You don't understand what names are uh, for the person who commented earlier. I support you, I tell. So let me just read. So uh, Charity Kaluwa on my Facebook say, that's very true, Lily. Uh, the words of my mother-in-law, she told me uh, the same message. You are right, 100%. Moses um, was talking about the mindset or uh, there's somebody who also named their child under uh, Mr. Haka in the Hichilema. And, and you know, the thing is, what people don't understand is, when they see you talk about, you know, the current president, they think you belong to this political party. But, you know, Bowman Nusambo has been for the past weeks, we know, uh, it's either he, he threatens people to apologize to the president, it's either he whips people up um, because they are going to pubs and they're supposed to be observing uh, the two meter spacing during this COVID-19. It's either he locks up people because they're not wearing masks. He does a lot of things. So he's always training. And we'll speak about him because he's, he's training. I know by the time people start watching this video, uh, this video will even be 20,000 views because Boma Nusambo, everybody wants to know what he's all about. Okay, so uh, G. Mona said, wait a few months from now, he will be regretting it. Politics is not a game for friendship that lasts forever. So, so many comments. A lot of people were actually uh, for the idea and were just saying, uh, we support what you're saying. Okay. Um, uh, Innocent says, oh no, Lily, the YouTube name is only my nickname. Okay. Oh, really? I like it, my name. It's very nice. Okay. Mayulinda is saying it's a nickname. It's a beautiful name. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Uh, Coco Mama, you asked me about my hair. I tie my hair because my hair is under quarantine. I haven't been to the barbershop, but I think I'll visit one uh, soon, as soon as they are open. And, uh, you know, most of my subscribers from different parts of Africa, they don't like fake hair. So I have to do what my subscribers love to see the most. <laughs> okay, Innocent says, doesn't he have families he can name them after? Please keep the kids out of this. Exactly. I mean, you have your father, you have your mother, you have, you know, it's just crazy uh, how he's really a bootlicker for the president. Um, Cass Con says, Lily, I see you, associate. Thank you so much. Khadija says, is everything in a name one gives their child? So please be careful what name and who you name your children after. Uh, names become spiritual. That's Malaya. Um, it's a spiritual covenant to the name and it's important to pray about the names before naming children. And this is how the West Africans do it. The Nigerians do it every seven days. When the child is born, immediately seven days, you have a prayer before you name the child and you say, your name is Esther. And Esther, you will answer by the name Esther. You will not be a thief. You will not be this. You know, they bless the child. The way the West Africans do it is different from the way we do it, Zambians. We just say, oh, your name is Esther. Your name is uh, whatever. Without even praying for the child. If we did it that way, maybe I would say, okay, they named the child. They prayed. So that's it. Okay, Victoria says, Lily, I can name my daughter your name. Others like you don't. Uh, so that can never take my love and loyalty away from you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so names are spiritual. Uh, Winnie says this is insane. <laughs> Chilifia says, true, we know they are your children, but keep them out of the nonsense. Exactly. Um, yeah, so Cascon, we're talking about a, a, a minister in Zambia called Boman Lusambo, who has named his twins after the Republican president and his wife. <laughs> Victoria says, point Lily. Marilinda says, I think a name follows a person for their whole life. Definitely. Uh, Monica says, maybe his family died in the civil war. <laughs> uh, Barbara Andui says, Lily, even in the Bible, 
we hear we hear of names being changed because of the curses or the issues that were attached this is powerful did you hear that that were attached to the names god personally changed jacob's name to israel does it mean god was insane powerful i think that's really powerful um so so many people have said what they have to say and all i can say to you is that i don't support the idea of the names I don't care what people say, but I don't support the idea of the names. Um, it's, it's important that we give children names that um, will bring blessings to them and not curses. So thank you so much uh, for those of you who um, follow me on my Facebook page. Thank you so much. YouTube, thank you so much. Wherever you follow me, thank you so much. And just know that every day I at least share some content on my YouTube channel during this COVID-19 because I know uh, people are at home. But obviously, as time goes by, when people are busy, I will change a little bit to, you know, maybe three days a week and maybe live streams on a particular day, like a Saturday. But for now, we're sharing content as it comes. And I don't want to keep you so long on this live stream because I know that others will come and would want to watch this video. So thank you so much for your contribution. And I will finish with um, Chama. Jov okay, let me say Jovio. Jovio says, okay, um, okay, Winnie says, um, my husband named all the kids, um, yeah. And then Jovio says, names have a psychological impact on the person's character, uh, personality, behavior. Let's choose wisely. I read that. Uh, Chama Paul says, the Bible uh, said, my people perish because they lack knowledge. You are destroying your child with your ignorance. George Shula says, Waboma Nusambo, last I thought um, uh, that he's a man of wisdom. You know, people thought he was a man of wisdom, but, you know, uh, not much wisdom there. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's a girl, Lela Matams, also known as Gelo Pazet. I know some people will come to my live stream and they'll be wondering, ah, what happened? You didn't dance. So we'll end this with a, a dance because some people just love that dance itself um, where they just want to see me dance to the song. So we end with that. And for those of you who are aware, uh, we are happy that Chela Tukuta is out from the cells. It's an amazing thing to hear. And um, also uh, make sure you carry on with your day today. Pray, know that you're loved. Hi, Kabaka. So I'll end with this one. At least we're celebrating Mr. Bowman's twins. It's good news, so it's congratulations. Let's go. My name is Julio. Hey, hey, hey! Kutikisha iwe, it says I'm not moving at a quarter way. We only move on when we. Kutikisha iwe, it's just when I'm moving at a quarter way. We only move Hey, hey, hey! Oh, hey! Hey, hey! Thank you so much. Love you guys.